fireworks. Maybe they're celebrating something. Closed and locked. I don't think there's anyone in there. What the hell was that thing? I'm staying far, far away from the water. Even if I knew how to, you know, drive a boat, I still don't think I'd brave those murky waters. need to make another run south before the ice breaks, though I'm guessing Marcuria is out of the question. We lost some good people. We got careless. Ah, we were as careful as we could be. We just got unlucky. It was bound to happen sooner or later. Let's just hope we got enough intelligence out of it to justify the losses. I wish I could say that's the case. The fact is, they're getting too strong for us. They tore us apart down there. Easy as... Ah, quit your whining, woman. The raven I know is tougher than that. There's enough doom and gloom in this place already. Which is why I'm going back. To Mercuria? Are you sure that's wise? We stay here, we go there. It's all the same. They're coming and they won't stop. Not until we strike at their heart. Mercuria, the tower. Ha! The tower! It'll take more than you and your band of merry rebels to topple that one, raven. And even if you do, you think that'll stop them? No. We need to stay strong. Build our allegiances, recruit more people, and keep the enemy from our doorstep. Time and patience will decide the victor. We don't have time. Look at what happened in Mercuria. We have to act now. We have to take the war to them. I'm inclined to agree, Raven. But we're not strong enough. Not yet. If you stay here, we can train more people, build our strength, and... And talk about how someday we'll crush the enemy and take back our lands and our cities. That's what we do best. Talk. They murdered my friends. They arrested our most trusted ally in Mercuria, and they're probably moving north even now. And you say we should wait? I'm done waiting. Ah, the Azadi don't have a clue where we are. Trust me, Raven, we're safe here. Besides, no one but me and my boys can navigate the rivers and swamps between us and the Bay of Fire. Even if the Azadi should learn of our whereabouts, the scouts will give us two days' warning. We'll sink their boats before they even know what hit them. Even so, I can't just sit here and wait. I have to do something. I swear, Raven, you'll get yourself killed one of these days. (laughs) Sometimes I wonder if that's not what you want. But if it's south you want to go, if you want to take your war to the Azadi, then fine. You'll have my boat. I'll take you where you want to go. Now, you'll have to excuse me. We still have to unload the grain and move all the supplies into storage. I'll come by later and give you a hand. I just have a few people I need to speak with first. The captain got the ship out of Mercuria just in time. Another few hours, and they would have arrested everyone, I'm sure of it. Even here, people keep their doors closed and bolted. The Azadi have taught us to fear and distrust each other. I know they're running short of warm clothes in Snapjaw's Cove, Duran. 
we need to send a boat over with coats, shoes and blankets. And in Bunvik, they are fighting a fierce fever. We need to get them some medicines, and soon. It's not safe for them to travel to Khorasan any longer. There are more and more Azadi in that city. It's only a question of time before the Council announces their allegiance to the Empire. Kara. A moment, April. Please make sure the herbs are distributed to the lieutenants. They are each responsible for their group getting the medicine they need. April, thank the balance you escaped, Mercuria, and that Bryn and Chowan made it here with the supplies. Your efforts are much appreciated. Kara, about Benrime, we need to do... She put her life on the line for us. We won't forget that any time soon. We'll sing her song at the tables tonight. The Azadi will be keeping her alive until they can ship her west. They like to have a show trial before executing their prisoners. If I can take a dozen people with me south, I can... You intend to take on the entire Azadi army by yourself? No, April. This war will have its victims, and you'll have to learn to live with that. You may have a death wish, but not everyone shares your lack of faith in the future. In time, we shall prevail. I've dedicated my life to fighting the Azadi, Kara. What makes you say that I have no faith? You've already given up your life. You don't fight because you want to destroy them. You fight to destroy yourself and your demons. Granted, your ferocity and guidance have strengthened us. The enemy fear and curse your name, and you've made them tread more cautiously in the north. But both you and I know you're not doing this for any greater cause. You're doing this because it's the only thing you have left. And I can't have you taking our people with you on a suicide mission. So we let Benrime rot in prison, is that it? We let them take her to their country where she'll die because she helped us? Yes, we do. Benrime wasn't, isn't stupid. She knew the risks. She knew it was a dangerous game to play and she played it as safe as she could. Unlike you. I don't accept that. I can't leave her to die. Accept it or not, you're not taking anyone south. We have enough trouble protecting our homes and our supplies. We can't afford another setback. They're not your people. They make their own decisions. That they do. And you may find that for once, you're on your own. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have other matters to attend to. I'll see you at dinner tonight, April. And thank you again for bringing us the supplies. Without them, we wouldn't have lasted through the winter. Kara is the closest thing this town has to a mayor. She was elected to head the council last spring. I'm so glad to see that Na'ane is safe, though I wonder how she managed to escape the Azari. Na'ane? April on. It brightens my heart and spirit to see you here. Safe and in good health. We heard that you had escaped Mercuria, but I was worried nonetheless. And now the stars have brought you back to us. How did you get out of Mercuria? I heard they shut all the gates and posted guards at all exits. As a stowaway on trade ship bound for Khorasan, and on a leap first back north along the old pass, as it was generous enough to share her mount with me. I'm glad you're safe. Good thing Bryn and Chuan had just left with the supplies. They were the lucky ones. The stars shine on all of us, April Ong. What about our friends at the Journeyman? What about Benrime? I'm sure they don't feel so lucky right now. Fortune often has a dark side, but there may still be a chance to aid the innkeeper. What? How? I have just been told that someone arrives from Mercuria with word of Benrime. He wishes to speak with you. Who? A stranger. A friend. A messenger. He wishes to meet with you on the West Pier. He will speak with you and no one else. Are you sure this man is a friend? How did he find us? Would I lie to you, Aprilon? I'm sorry, Naani. Of course not. I trust you. I'll go right away. Listen, if it turns out this man has important information and I have to go back to rescue... I would not let you walk alone, Aprilon. Go now. He arrives soon.
You must go to the West Pier. The messenger will meet you there shortly. Na'ane told me to meet the messenger on the pier. 